or a satellite. It's definitely not a star between the moon and the earth. Look at the, what the little circle in the middle is pointing at and it will name it down in the left-hand corner. If you notice, uh, the moon is in the belly of Taurus. The bull done ain't the moon. Ain't that some BS, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be some BS. Earth's a minor, and it looks like a squirrel, the Little Dipper does. So that's, you call it Earth's a minor, but it's, I call it a Little Dipper. And here's the Big Dipper, which they call Earth's a major. Yeah, it looks like a bear. The other one looks like a squirrel, though. Day five. I'm just checking to see if it's still rolling. It's pumping. It's pumping water. Let's see if it fills the tank up. Oh, the birds built another nest there. Oh, yeah. Gonna keep this schedule all the way into the rainy season, out of curiosity. Well, my. It's all filled up. I'm going to give a little bit of water to my plants. Just at the root. You know, when the sun is bright like this, if you water your plants, don't pour it on the leaves. Because it will burn them up like that. What a way to spend my golden years. <laughs> That's awesome. There's a fisherman right there. See the fisherman? There's some night fishing. Fishing right there, down there. Yeah. Wow. I'm so blessed. My grass is not blessed, though. <laughs> Severe drought. So I started a log for when. Um, one of my wells runs out of water and I have to switch to the other one. 
I've, I'm just been guessing that one last six days, then it runs out, you know, when you're doing laundry and taking showers a lot. So <clears throat> it runs out, so you gotta turn it off, switch to the other well. I think that's six days. Then the good well, number two well, it lasts for like 10 days. But I'm guessing, so I'm gonna make a log and I'm gonna keep, every time I have to switch to the other well, I'm gonna mark it down in my notes. And then when the rainy season comes, I'm gonna see how much it changes, and how bad it is now in the middle of the drought. So it's a little side project. I'll give y'all an update. All right. Check out my, some of my night photos. Well, you know, I didn't realize this, but if you zoom in on any of the stars, there's different colors on each and every star, and they are a different way. Um, I mean, I find it kind of interesting. If you zoom in, one of them's green and yellow, fumes look like coming off of it, another one is purple and blue, like the one you saw earlier. And uh, I guess it has to do with the gases that are coming off the star, or maybe it's just a iPhone thing. I only have an iPhone. Uh, it's not an ultra great zoomer but I get, I get some good photos though check that moon out Ooh. spooky yeah it's like a sliver of a moon crescent moon I guess you call it so anyway something to ponder you know, I never heard that before. You know, every star is a different color. You guys need a bird bath. That's what you need. <laughs> yeah, you're dirty. Dirty bird. It's like the Atlanta Falcons. They used to be called the Dirty Birds. That's where you belong, Kirk Cousins. On the Dirty Birds. Clean out my dirty cage. Isn't that relaxing? I wonder, can y'all hear the waves? Yeah.